back, everybody. My next guest tonight is the Emmy and Peabody Award winning host of Watch What Happens Live on Bravo. Please welcome the lovely Andy Cohen. Great to see you. Look absolutely dashing. Thank I you. I love the suit. I love the big window pane and the turtleneck makes you look like uh, early Steve McQueen, maybe Peter Lawford. Thank you. Maybe late Brokaw. Not guess. late Brokaw. Brokaw. I like that. Nobody rocks a turtleneck like Tom Brokaw. Nobody. I, I, uh, Semitic uh, Steve McQueen was what I was going for. S Semitic, Semitic, Steve Semitic Steve McQueen. Semitic, yes. Well, well, congratulations. You made it. Thank you. Can I ask I you, it. by the way, uh, Marvel clam bake to you, and I just wanted to say. <laughs> Look it up. Watch the show. It's a pretty good show tonight. Watch the show. You'll like it. What is going on here? Is this is this with you and your family? What are you doing for the holidays am, here? Oh, that is me and my mom and my sister taking a gingerbread class uh, at my cousin's bakery in St. Louis. A gingerbread, a gingerbread class? house making class. Wow. Yes. And that's a nice. I, that's a, can we see? Isn't that yeah, nice really what nice. I made? But I was kind of competing against. <laughs> That's pretty good gingerbread house. Everyone else in the class was between the ages of six and eight, and me in the class um, at Companion Baking in St. Louis, and I and I was very competitive with the other kids, <laughs> and I, I hate here. to say I was not the best in the at the house. Uh, we got some messages on here on the side here. It says, "Well, uh, one mom said, looks so much better than the one my son and I made. Nice work." <laughs> So you're competitive and you won. Congratulations. Nice. Nice. Yes. That's really nice. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Well, and uh, also congratulations. Uh, new name uh, for the show. Oh yes. It's uh, Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Catchy, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. we're not confused. It's made. That yeah, exactly. Is. Wait a minute. Who is on that show? Any other big yes. changes? For yeah, the show we're moving uh, studios. We're moving upstairs. Right now, we're in basically the equivalent of a tic tac. There's room for me, my two guests, and my bar. And we're moving upstairs to basically the size of like a studio apartment in Manhattan. Oh, wow. So we have a little teeny performance space now. It's very exciting. That's very really nice. psyched. No. January 3rd is the big move. That's the big move. Yeah. Okay, so that's the move when you, you go mainstream. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. major. You're totally selling Taking out. Taking the show major mainstream. Yeah. Um, uh, you have actually made uh, history, I would say. Yes. With In your show by introducing to a lot of people who may not know any of it uh, Yiddish. On your show, I do speak a fair amount of Yiddish on the show. Well, I, every night on the show, at the end, I give my mazel of the day, which is my kind of shout out, yeah. uh, which is me shortening mazel tov, of course. Yeah, yes. But uh, I do throw in a fair amount of Yiddish. Eddie Redmayne was on the show a couple weeks ago, and I said to him, "What, what was the deal with that Michigas with?" Uh, Anne Hathaway or something, and he goes, Michigas? And I said, oh, Surus, the Surus. With, and he said, I don't understand what you're talking about. And he said, you're Meshuggah. Yeah, exactly. My, my cameraman turned to me during the break and said, I have learned more Yiddish on this show. It was great. Well, you always learn something on Watch What Happens Live. Always, yeah. always. It's really, your, your goal is to educate America. That's and what that's I why do. why you have a new book, which is a New York Times bestseller yes, now called you. Superficial. Yes. Okay. Yes. Superficial. That's right. More adventures from the Andy Cohen diaries. It's true. Okay. It's um, true. Uh, uh, what are some of the revelations in here? I understand you had to teach John Mayer about the significance of Diana Ross. That is true. That's a moment. There is this... no way John Mayer did not know how significant Diana well, Ross was. Well, let me was. set the scene. But first of all, the book is Take two years Paint in a my life. It's Paint a, a diary of two years in my life. And during this, I took a road trip with John. Uh, from LA to San Francisco, California. How did that happen? Was uh, this just for fun? We like... were going to see The Grateful Dead, actually, their 50th anniversary what? show. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm a big deadhead. And John so how'd you get on... Was it like on mopeds? What was, how did we you were do this? In, we were in this big, I can't, oh, this Earth Roamer of John's that What's was an really Earth cool. Roamer? It's a big ass car, and that's our truck, kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the most. Hetero vehicle I've ever been in in my life, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and so while we're going there, what happens but marriage equality passes the Supreme Court? While you're driving While up we're there? driving up there. And I go, so yeah. you're, like, you're in San Francisco. We're the on weekend. Our way. Yes. And so I say to John, I go, dude, marriage equality passed, and FYI, 
it's gay pride in San Francisco. I'm going out tonight. And he goes, I'm going with you, just so you know. Wow. I want to celebrate with you. Wow. So we went to a bar called the Powerhouse, because gay bars have very kind of strong names, like mm -hmm. Powerhouse, mm -hmm. Chaps, Manhole. Like, what, you know, they're like <laughs> strong names, you understand? I'm in. I'm yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. So we're there, we're in the, it's, it's everything, it's, it's, it's a celebration, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and Diana Ross, of course, is playing as, as she yeah. might in that situation. Yeah. And I said, you know what this is, right? And he was like, fill me in, man. Like, what? what? And so I had to give him a quick uh, tutorial on the significance of my Supreme Queen. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I might not even understand the full significance oh, of the Supreme Queen. I, at this I don't point. think there's time in this segment. Okay. Um, I understand that you're thinking about uh, having kids. Oh, there's. A, A, congrats. Okay. Mazel, baby. I, thank you. Mazel. Thank you. But second of all, why? Why? What is it? <laughs> You know what? I mean, they're not all easy. There are moments in the book where I'm looking for greater meaning in my life. The book, of course, is called Superficial, but that's another story. And uh, but so that that is a dialogue. That is one of the dialogues in the book. Why, you know why not? Yeah. Why? Open your life up. Why? Why do you? Why not? So you can yes, beat them know, at making right. gingerbread houses. They know you're right. Just be careful right. because listen. You're not that much younger than I am, and yet look at the beautiful, look how beautiful your skin is. Thank you. You have some children. All the it's moisturizer gonna... in the world will not stop this from no. happening. What? Think about it. No. Is it worth it? I have the face to protect. What's face? Face. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was more Yiddish. You did. Well, Andy, lovely to see you. Congratulations you on your much. book and the show. Thank you. Superficial is now in stores. Andy Cohen, everybody. We'll be right back.